When we talk about privacy, we normally think of it as applied to messaging apps, video conference calls, or our activity while we surf the web. But have you ever think about the type of data a motion capture system creates and how is it managed? First of all, let's review the data flow model behind a normal motion capture system. As you know, the data is gathered by the sensors which are attached to the performance body. This data is perhaps pre-processed and then sent to a client software running on a PC. This PC is normally required to be connected to the internet and the main reason for it is authentication. What happens is that these clients, or at least part of them, tend to be paid. So, the company running the software normally wants to know if the user using the software has purchased the license. What the software does upon start is to send an ID token to a central server which belongs to the company. The server then compares this token to a list of active users and it gives uh, the permission back to continue executing the software. So this machinery alone is capable of collecting data about who you are, how often and for how long you do mocap. But that's okay, after all, that's how most private software works nowadays. But let's get to the mocap data itself. Have you noticed how when you install a new software there's this long end user agreement text that nobody reads? Well, I will suggest you to go through it because in the middle of it you might find clauses that give the mocap company permission to upload the content you are creating to their server. Moreover, some of the companies add the permission to use the data you created in several ways, like for example for publicity. Of course, we haven't went through the end user agreements of all the mocap companies, but we find that this, the application of this type of privacy policy is a common practice upon many mocap technology providers. So what about for data motion? Are we any different? Well, definitely yes. First of all, we openly state that we don't collect your data, and when you use one of our software, you are regulated under the terms of the GNU, GPL, or other open licenses. They basically state that the software you're using belongs to you and to everybody else, so you can do whatever you like with it, but you just cannot close it. And the important bit here is that this type of licenses don't include at all clauses granting permissions to anybody to use the data that is yours. But just saying it might not be enough to convince you. So let me show you how the data flow model in the Cordata Motion Framework protects you. We start again, the data is collected by the sensors, but this time it is transmitted to a microcomputer which is running attached to the performance body. This is where most of the processing takes place. And then the data can be sent, for example, to our current Blender add-on or to our upcoming smartphone app. It can even be sent to a custom client that you have created. It is recommended to connect this microcomputer to a local Wi-Fi network, but it is just for convenience reasons. It is not required that any time that this network is connected to the internet, so there is no chance the data can exit your local area. Moreover, the data is transmitted using clear, non-obfuscated protocols. So if you want to, you get to expect at any time the type of data that we are transmitting. So there you go. We created this system with the open source values in mind, which in this case means it just cannot be used to collect data from you. And to end with, uh, we're not trying to state that other companies are evil or they're trying to spy you or something. We know many of them main objective is just to give good quality mocha product and not to make irregular use of your data. Yet we do think that having the possibility of accessing products that gives you complete control over the data or the content you generate should be granted to everyone. To this end, Cordata Motion's contribution to the world of mockup is unique. 
but to make that become a reality, our upcoming crowdfunding campaign is crucial. As you know, we are living in this strange pandemic situation, which is making us reconsider the way we think and propose this campaign. We created a news channel and a website, so be sure to check it because you will get weekly updates of the progress of the project. We are working really hard on creating, on developing strategies that will allow us to deliver the, the suits on the already proposed timeline and also to incorporate much of the feedback we are receiving from the community. So, see you there!